I found a tool that makes amazing prompts for mid-journey and it takes your images to the next level. It's super easy, it's free. I used one single prompt and with this tool I got all these different images and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the site is prompt.noonshot.com and in the top you see it's a mid-journey prompt helper. We're just gonna start by creating our first prompt and I already had something in mind. A panda with kung fu outfit enjoying a shiny jug of honey. And then the bottom you see that you already got your imagine prompt right here that you can press copy prompt after that you can just paste it in mid journey okay so this is the result that we got from using the prompt it already looks really nice like mid journey art does really nice lightning effects the nice thing from this tool is that you can create it however you want so we now have this one let's go back to the tool and you see different buttons that all have influence on how the picture looks so for instance we can press on styles and here you can see you have many different styles going on. Cartoon, it looks more cartoony. Can have comic book art. I think I want to see it in charcoal style just to see how different it can be. So I press charcoal and continue. And as you can see here in the bottom, the prompt got changed. It got added charcoal on the back. So I can copy this prompt and I post it in mid journey and let's see the image that we get. So the charcoal is finished. It looks more black and white. I'm not sure if you see that it's really so much charcoal, but it is nice again. And the fun thing is I just added one extra word that I got and the results are totally different, you know? So let me go back to the mid journey prompt and add something else. So the charcoal, maybe it was not too good, but the comic book drawing, I guess that can be interesting. So I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna do comic book. Just add one and press continue. And we have the changed prompt again. So let's use that one. Okay, so here we have the result of the comic book style. And it looks nice. I think it's a bit similar as the first one. This one maybe looks a bit more realistic with more nice lightning. And this one, I guess this bottle is a bit more comic book style. And it's still very different as this one. So now I want to try somewhere else. Where next to the styles, you also have lightning. You have a lot of different things. You can have candlelight, some concert lighting dusk which i'm a big fan of so maybe we're gonna use that one edison bump fluorescent you have so many interesting things i think i'm gonna add the neon lamp continue and with a different style so i'm gonna take the comic book let's do something very different let's see how an extraterrestrial panda with kung fu outfit and a shiny jug of honey looks like very curious how a panda extraterrestrial panda looks like so while we're waiting to start, let's see some other things that are possible. So you have camera, you can have a wide angle, ultra wide angle telescope. So you really can vary how you want your image to look like. You can have an artist if you have a certain style that you really like. If you're a big fan of Andy Warhol, then you can press this and your image will come out like that. The panda extraterrestrial with the neo lamp came out and it is very different. I'm not sure if you can recognize a panda in there. So this just totally Ignore the panda part. This, I guess the Kung Fu outfit of the extraterrestrial look like a lab coat. And the images are very cool. I mean, the, the colors and the style, it's amazing, but it's not a panda. Um, so let's change it a little bit. Extraterrestrial, I guess, is not the one. And maybe the uh, neon lamp also not. Let me try a different one. I'm gonna try a telephoto lens. So you see it from far and it looks nice. And I'm going to use this artist, so we get it in a different style. And I'm going to use the Van Gogh art style to see how that looks like, to have it in a totally different light. Okay, we have the telephoto lens and Van Gogh. Copy the prompt. While we're waiting for that to finish, I want to show this part. If you want to exclude or avoid certain terms, type them below. So if you don't want a car or if you don't want a tree in your picture, you can just type it here. And you will see it added no tree. So then you will go no tree on your prompt and in your image. Okay, the telephoto lens with Van Gogh is ready. Let's open it. <laughs> Actually, it, it did it a bit different because it changed the honey to an actual telephoto lens. So it changed it to a camera. So the telephoto lens was not working. I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna take that. And you see I have colors if you want certain colors. Materials, if you want certain material, you can really change a lot. 
I want to have something different than we have before. So I'm going to do blocky to really have something very different. Continue. So we have the prompt in the bottom again, blocky, dusk, and navy blue. Let's copy it. I'm very curious how this one looks. So the blocky, dusk, and navy blue is ready. Let's see how it looks. I think this one is really cool. You see, it, it became kind of blocky, but you don't really see too many, too much the colors. This is just a child. And this looks like an actual robot panda. So you really have to figure out what works for your image. But the nice thing is that they help you. They show you what to use. So the only thing I'm gonna use now is lightning to just get a nice lightning. I like electric arc, it looks pretty, continue. And I think, I'm gonna post it in Discord. And I think this is the best way that you just try one or two and see how they work together and, and match it like that. If you add too many things to your prompt, it just gets hard for mid journey to understand what you want. And often you don't get what you actually want. So remember this time I added the electric arc. Uh, now we got some electric going on in the honey. So it doesn't look like honey anymore. You have the panda becoming kind of a crazy scientist. And it's nice, it's, it's nice, it's different. It's not what we asked for, but it's still nice. You can work with all this, but the best thing you can do is still use styles. For instance, now we can do a cyberpunk one. Then we know that we're gonna get the panda with kung fu outfit, shiny jug of honey and cyberpunk style. So let me know if you will use this tool, because I think it's amazing and it just makes your life so much easier. You can get so much more creative just by using this and changing things a little bit. With this, I can make the images that I want in my mind because the styles are all there, the colors are all there, everything is there. Oh, and now we have the cyberpunk panda. And this is really pretty. You see the style behind. It's very gritty, very neon color like. I, uh, I like this ones. And share your prompts in the comments so we can all try out what you create. If you enjoyed this video, I have many more about AI. Just click in the link in the description and you will find the next video.